with my team, someone came to us and said, guys, don't give up, just race, race. Be yourself until you can be a Batman, then be a Batman. So create a startup. So I simply asked him, dude, so, so what's your problem, you know? And he said, you know, I'm your first customer, by, but, but create something for me. I travel a lot and I would love to meet some interesting people, especially when they have similar interests. So, because I spend a lot of time on the airport and sometimes I feel bored. And I know that this is a great place where there is a huge diversity. I can meet really interesting people and spend at least one hour talk to them or go for some coffee. So, that's me travel. We give you this option. We found this number. Actually, 162 million people yearly travel alone. So this is our target group, and we want to give them. We want to give them the the option to connect with connect with some people. So we ask our friends, "Would you like to meet someone at the airport, or someone who who have similar interests, or some random person?" They said, "Yes, why not? I'm happy to meet." So we discover this app. So what, what, what am I going to do? I'm on the airport. I open this app. And first, I decide. I would like to talk to a guy who is a startup geek. So I first choose this option and click Find. And I find Roger. Actually, Roger is not in my target group. So I just check my phone, and I find another person, random person, Ari, guy from India. Whoa, I've never talked to a guy from India. I want to talk to him. So I sent him connect, and he accepted my invitation. We stay connected, and we receive a coupon from Starbucks, 20% off. And the question is, where should we go for this meeting? Of course, to Starbucks, because we have 20% off right now. So you receive valuable person. It can be your friend. It can be the business person you will contact later on via LinkedIn, or it can be even a love. Moreover, you receive a coupon, and if you're lucky, you can have a travel friend, because maybe he can go this same direction to the same city, so you continue the conversation. Okay, so what is the business model? How can we earn on such an app? So we found two simple sources of cash so far. So basically, the basic app is for free, but if you want to have upgraded option, you have to pay at least one to two dollars. So second source of cash is this discount or coupon offered by nearby uh, nearby business, which rewards you for the connection. So basically you connect and they already know that you want to talk, you want to go somewhere, you want to spend your free time somehow, and they give you this coupon. So we interviewed 110 people, our friends, and that's their responses. They said, wow, the idea is great. I've never thought about this this way. So we asked him, would you pay for such service? Of course, that just they answered. Maybe they wouldn't, but they are eligible to pay at least one uh, one dollar in 24 percentages. So there are similar applications or competitors who are the meet people application, but we are simpler. We are based only on this similarity. And if you just want to find some other person, not only similar to you, you just shake your phone and you find random person. So we don't have mailbox, we don't have some additional features. It's simple. You just have one, two hours, you just want to connect, have some coffee. And we are a bit different from our competitors. As I said, we are simpler. We are not so focused on 10,000 features. So we just want to connect to people and give them opportunity to meet in some nice place. So marketing. We will definitely cooperate with huge companies, travel companies, because those travel companies offer our target group some other options like if you travel and you want to book some flight you can definitely connect it with our app and meet other people on this airport on this flight and what we did till now as i said yesterday at 8 pm there was nothing with the mock-up we created idea marketing strategy and already found valuable customers so george would be our customer would you be our customer And Derek, sorry for that. Okay, uh, why do you want to restrict it only to traveling? Uh, we thought about it, and there were a few opinions that we can extend it, but it would complicate our model. 
it's scalable. There were some opinion from people here because we made some research, but it would be useful as well on bus stations and so on and so on. So that's a really good point. And definitely next pivot is to extend it. Because now we just wanted to present the idea and it's simple simple when we tell you this this one specific story about traveling on the airport. Because of course we also discovered many issues with airports. That so for example there won't be Wi-Fi or something where when they can connect. So still you have to go to different places to connect those people. And they need these different place as places as well. But you know what's your biggest challenge? No users. Situation when you stop yes. and you have no content. Yes. Yeah. Any content users yeah. available in this place. Exactly. Yes. Now what do you do? Because so, many people just at this point just split die. What do you what's your plan to overcome this challenge? So 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 definitely before we, we have this official launch, we have to create at least this this margin of people who will be enough to um, to give us um, uh, how is it called? To give us uh, the critical mass, yeah? yeah, the crit sorry, the critical mass exactly, and we need to find this growth engine. So at some point we can definitely boost. And if, if you are, will be at some airport, you will find some. It's the same with actually Foursquare. When Foursquare started here in Poland, it was difficult. I, I checked in many times, and there was no one, no one around. But with the time, I see that, that there are more and more people checking in, and I still check in. Of course, I have some additional value for myself, just doing some checking. So that what we have to offer here at the beginning: that even if you don't connect to someone, you still give something that will uh, be valuable for you, and then you will go back to this uh, application. I changed the name recently. Uh, yes. Um, um, to integrate your profile there to your with your Facebook profile, Twitter profile, uh, LinkedIn profile, uh, Foursquare profile, to import friends from there, to invite them without necessarily uh, sharing your location info with people with whom you don't want to share it. So there will be uh, privacy options. Thank you. Because people don't have to learn it, and I find that the, it isn't always the case, but in most cases, the simpler the application is, the more likely it is to be used. Because you mo mainly use applications for one, for one, maybe two things. You, uh, mobile applications aren't the same things as web applications. It's a completely different world. You cannot focus on all the features. You can't search for things when you're walking on the street. Um, it's just not the same as sitting in front of a laptop. My profile and so on. We just want to connect. It's just simply the connection. They, they should go alive and talk to each other. So the issue of this, our application is simple. Just connect those people and let them have fun between each other.